Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, a moment for us to listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us. Matthew chapter 13, verse 23. Jesus said, The seed that fell on good soil represents those who truly hear and understand God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60 or even a 100 times as much as has been planted. The parable of the sower mixes realism with huge encouragement. It confronts us with the fact that when the word of God is spoken, there's a wide range of reactions. Some people just don't want to know. Others are incredibly excited for a short while and then forget all about it. And yet others receive the word and start applying it to their lives in a serious way, but are then distracted by the pressures and temptations of life. Anyone who's been involved in sharing the good news of Jesus will recognise that all of that is an accurate reflection of life. However, here's the massive encouragement. When God's word finds a home in the right soil, it doesn't merely cause growth, but leads to an enormous harvest. How amazing for a farmer to look at his crop and realise that it's 30, 60 or even 100 times more than he planted. This is a really important parable for us because it's so easy to focus our attention on the discouragements of life. At times it would be tempting to give up when you see people rejecting the word of God and wandering away from the faith. Over the years I've often felt a deep personal pain when I've seen people reject the Lord. It's very easy to blame oneself and to draw attention to all the inadequacies of the church. This parable puts the many discouragements of life into a bigger context. It reminds us that the miracle will happen, and there will always be those in whose lives the word of God goes deep and has a spectacular result. I can think of countless occasions when this has happened, and quite often it's been in the most unlikely situations. The conclusion has to be that we should continue to work hard for God, even when the going gets tough, and people are not responding in the way that we'd hoped. As Paul said to the Corinthians, always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Let me pray with you. Lord God, help us to be faithful in serving you today. Amen. Thanks for listening. I hope you have a great day and that you'll join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you.